All right, let's do the challenge together. So what's the challenge? Create a Lightning Web Component that uses a wire and an Apex controller to retrieve contact records. Display the contact records in a Lightning Data Table. So I think we did that in the previous videos, but not exactly the challenge, but we did it very similar. So this should be easy. Okay, let's do it one at a time. First off, create an Apex controller that retrieve a list of contacts. Okay, let's get this um, contact controller. So this is an Apex class, all right? So let's close everything out. And close that. A new class, new Apex class, contact controller, default custom directory. And then let's grab the one we have before from let's say account controller two, right? So let's do Aura enabled cacheable equals true because we are using uh, um, it as a at wire decorator so I'm gonna copy that put it here okay and then the uh, the method we want to use is get contacts okay get contacts like so so I'm gonna copy uh, the code we had from before this one well, this is basically the same, but just get related contacts, right? So I'm just going to modify that a bit. And put it here. And say get contact. Is it get contact or get contacts? Get contacts, right? Get contacts. And then... To retrieve contact records, display the contact records is in a lightning data table. So we are not even passing anything, right? So we're just going to get the contacts, all the contacts probably. So we don't, we're not going to pass anything here. Right? So return, what do we want to query? First name, last name, email. So that would be first name, last name, email from contacts or from contact where what? There is no where. Basically everything. I'm just going to save this first, right? And Method get contacts first, uh, fields to query first name, last name, email. So yeah, we're actually just pulling everything, right? So we're not going to pass. So it's an app just to list all the contacts. Huh, this is pretty simple. Anyways, um, create a lightning web component that display contacts in a table using a lightning data table. All right. So, okay, let's create a lightning web component. Let's name that com contact list. I'm going to copy that. And we're done with the class, which is just, just that, okay? So now I'm going to make a new LWC, right? Click on here. New LWC, new uh, create lightning web component. The name would be contact list. And default custom directory. All right, so um, let's take a look at the previous one, which we are listing um, the contact list. We have account list here, which is pretty similar, right? So let's take a look at the account list. This is at wire decorator. Let's take a look. Um, yep, at wire, right? So. Yeah, let's do this as an example. So I'm just going to copy this part here and we're going to modify it. Okay. I'm just going to copy this top part first 
and then we're going to go back to the contact list js here um boom okay so name what do we want first name last time email so i'm going to say let's ditch the field first name last name email okay from contact dot first name contact dot last name contact dot email and import get accounts no our it's called get contacts okay import get contacts from apex contact controller dot get con tax all right so the column would be your first name last name email first name last name email or text first name last name email that all right so let's open this guy up and back to account list um, dot js let's take a look so basically we're just gonna copy this guy here and back here and paste here all right get contacts wire that guy and put it on contacts boom now we are going to do the html template the lightning template and uh, let's take a look at the account list.html template here copy the whole thing there and then paste it here bada bing bada boom and this is contacts.data lightning data table id this is contacts.data right the columns is columns and that's pretty much it and bob is your uncle all right so we're done and the meta let's take a look same thing here let's just copy it it's an app page because it's not related to a record we're not pulling contact related to an account but basically the whole contacts we have right which is i don't know quite a load but now this is just a playground shouldn't be too much i'm gonna go paste this thing it's going to be on the lightning app page done now remember before you deploy the lwc you would need to deploy the con the class first the contact controller class there right click deploy to uh, org deploy source to org bada bing bada boom successfully ran now we can actually deploy the contact list one here i'm gonna deploy as well you see that warnings that's fine it's because of the lightning data table stuff it's not gonna look good on mobile but we're just following along for the trailhead playground challenge so that's good right did it say successful i think so yep let's take a look at our playground we're gonna go app builder here app builder oh not here man i am not um thinking clear lightning app builder and we are going to add the work with data boom add that new custom um contact list woohoo so this would be a lot 
all along. Let's just put it on the top here. See? Boom! It is done, baby. I'm going to save that and I'm going to go back and let's launch that guy. Work with data. Boom! There we have it. And let's see what else do we need to accomplish here. Wire, with, which we did at the component, which we did, and that's it. Now let's grab the 500 points and next up we are going to talk about handle server errors. So let's grab this and I'll see you on the next section. Bada bing, bada boom. Woohoo! 500 points, baby! Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.